of Patriot Coin Wings with my dad. Today I'm going to be teaching him how to make a 24 karat gold 1968 JFK half dollar coin ring. And a major shout out to John Richard Holdsworth from St. Pittsburgh, Florida. Big shout out to you. And also thank you for buying this ring. It supports uh, the wounded vets from the Wounded Warrior Project. It does, it does. Thank you very much, John. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, our disabled vets appreciate it and everything that they uh, we can do for them, uh, they definitely deserve it. So thank you. Thank you. So this is gonna be the coin we're gonna be working with. It's a 1968 pure silver coin. And we're, we're gonna start off by punching a half inch um, hole into the ring. Alright, so the reason we're going to punch a half inch hole into the coin ring is because if you do it any smaller, it would actually spit, split the coin. Alright, I get it up there. Now you're positive your coin inside is totally down, right? And we got to make sure that this is all the way secure. See, I did not know that. Yeah, well, we all learn. Okay. All right. So that's right. Now I'm going to help you because this is really <laughs> tall up here. Get that right underneath there. I can't quite do that. A little more. Yep. Okay. Can you there get it? we go. All right. All right. If you take that part off, now go ahead and pull it out of there. Bring it over here and unscrew that. Let's see what you did. Let's see if you did it right. Oh, that's right. You're teaching me, though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, goodness. Cool. All right. Now what you're going to do, you're not going to be able to pull that off. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put that upside down in there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to get you a little dental hammer and I'll hold it for you. Okay. And what you do is you go ahead and just whack that right there. Boy, there you go. Get your coin. Whoop. Okay. Let's see what you did there. Here, that's what we're talking about. Hey, Dad, I'm going to watch you do this part because you're learning. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yeah, All doing right. pretty good. Alright. Actually. Am I about ready to go ahead and quench it? Mm, a tiny, tiny bit more. A little hotter? That's a bit good. Sand it, we're gonna go ahead and fire it up again. Just keep doing that over and over. But remember, if I sand it, if I, I'll be able to see real clearly a split in there if it happens. That's right, that's what you taught me. You are so correct. Okay. More fire. To what size? Well, they want a size 10, so we'll on this one I'm going to go about 11 and a half. So when you straighten it up, 
it would be the perfect size. Which is right about there. Okay. We're gonna deburr this coin ring for the customer. So it's more comfortable on the customer's ring. Yeah, we gotta get the inside read out of there, right? Five minutes later. Let's see what you got so far. Ooh, it looks good. That? Let's work with that. Okay, so you did a really good job. I, I can see you got it nice and shiny in there, and it's uh, really smooth. So what do we do next, though? Measure it with a measuring stick. Okay, sure. How's that? That's ten and a half, but we got to reduce it in the die because oh. our main goal is ten. Oh, still off by that much. By the right size die? Mm-hmm. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yes. Okay. Get a little more Teflon tape. Yep. So why are we doing Teflon again? So when you reduce it in the die, it doesn't scratch the coin ring. Got a dead on 10 there, buddy. Looking good, looking good. Dang. So what's the next thing, what's the next thing we have to do, Luke? So we're gonna sand off the sides. So we're gonna put on the rubber gel. Okay, let's do that. Give it a little test to see if it's wobbly. Oh, looks good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Dad, I'm going to have to need my safety glasses. I'm going to need these earmuffs to block my ears so I don't go deaf. And then last but not least, the gas mask. May you help me with this, Dad? Yeah. But it's not really a gas mask. It's just so that you don't get metal particles in your mouth. We help you out with that. Okay, you all geared up? Yeah. All right. You got your safety on. Good to go.
doing now? All right, Dad. So while we're done here, it's, it looks really cool and good. But we just have one more step to do, and that is to gold plate it. And since it's done with a lot of dangerous chemicals, could you do it? I'll do it. All right. All right. So we're gonna 
of debris this ring. Debris? Debris. Debur. Debur. Okay, say it over. Debris? Debur. Say we're going to debur. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this right here. Wrong way. <laughs> Go. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Some people, you just can't teach them nothing. The reason why I'm going to punch a half hole. A half hole? <laughs> You're going to put a half hole in there. I want a whole hole. Come on. It's not going to work with a half hole. With a half hole. With a half hole. I'll put a half hole. <laughs>